So I've made videos in the past about the cross guard, which is something you see in um, old school boxing. People like Joe Frazier and all the old, the mongoose, Archie Moore and stuff use a cross guard for various reasons. Uh, particularly um, in case of Frazier, he's still up short than most of the people he's fighting. He's a crouching, bobbing, weaving style. He wants to be able to get inside um, the range of the other fighter and to be able to parry off that and work inside hooking and so on. Archie Moore again used very sophisticated ways of using that cross guard to, to penetrate and to defend at the same time. In self-defense you're not sitting behind a guard in that same sense. Cross guard becomes something different. It becomes a natural position that you probably would find your hands in. This cross guarding position gives you access to things like slamming, shredder quite quickly and also recruits the elbows in a cover and attack position quite naturally. So I can crash, I can crash into an attacker in this cross guard position. I can get attachment, I can use my elbows and I can defend myself all in this basic cross guard stance. Um, so it's a tool, it's a, a tool of motion, a tool of action, rather than a guard. I'm not sitting behind the cross guard in a, in a boxing defensive manner. I'm in, I'm crashing, and I'm using that guarding position to recruit my elbows, to get attachment, to be able to slam and crash. And this may be particularly useful if you're in a group attack or you're being attacked from many sides. And your elbows are going to be high around your face and your head to protect you from being uh, punched, kicked from various positions. Again, I've got, I've got that defensive structure which slips very, transitions very quickly into attachment and then also to be able to use the elbows to crash and to strike whenever I need them without really leaving that structure of, of the guard, of the defensive structure. Whereas in something more traditional like boxing, I'm counting on my opponents being in this range and having the time and the distance to, to move from the guard and then back in. Um, cross guard is, suits to a degree the crashing urgency of, of a street fighting um, self-defense type scenario where defense escape, attack from multiple sides is much more of a factor considering, uh, to consider.